Tom, with less than a month to go until the first weekend of the fly, uh, how are you preparing at the minute? Um, lots of stuff going on. So, I mean, we, we've got, I'm kind of lucky really that we've got the fly coming up in a month, as you say. Um, I'm actually going away with, with the England box team this weekend to Prague. So um, there's been a fair amount of preparation required for that anyway. Um, and then Spencer have just just played in and, and won the flags final um, the weekend before. So the kind of last couple of months uh, for me personally have been a lot about recovering from my injury last season, um, kind of getting back to 100 percent or as close to 100 percent as I, I feel I could get in these first couple of competitions. Um, and then, you know, as I said, there's lots of other people in, involved in those teams, some of them involved in the fly, some of them involved in in box or Spencer, some of them involved in all three. So there's been a, a good group of us getting together and kind of um, trying to smash as much cardio as possible, really, and, and make sure we're ready to kind of contribute in those those end phases of, of all the, the big cup competitions. And you mentioned doing cardio there. I, I, at this point, is it is it more about trying to get as fit as possible, or is it about keeping your stick skills sharp, or is it just about a bit of everything? Uh, so for me personally, um, I can always be pretty confident in in you know stick skills, uh, thing things like that. That's probably one of my strengths. One of my weaknesses, uh, or should I say, one of my opportunities for improvement. Is um is the fitness side of things. So um, I'm a big body. I have to work hard to make sure that I don't uh, kind of pack on the pounds. Um, so yeah, for me, it's been a lot about uh, kind of circuit training, um, sprint training, lots of agility because I I hurt my knee last summer and I'm just coming back from that really since February. So um, yeah, I think the way that I'm preparing right now is possibly slightly different to. To some of the other players but um you know it's all good stuff and and i'm enjoying doing it to be honest with you that was going to be my next question about how you your injury and recovering from the injury has affected your preparation what what would you normally be doing that maybe you're not doing or yeah just what's different um so i think it i think that there's probably a slightly different profile um physical profile required to play sixes or field lacrosse versus box lacrosse for my position, for the position that I, I try and occupy. Um, so when I'm playing box, um, it's much more about being capable of, of going out for maybe one or at most two 30 second shifts uh, back to back and, and feeling, you know, strong, uh, difficult to move uh, for other players to move me around and, um, and able to kind of get to those short, sharp bursts. Um, my big plan following the box Euros had been to come back and, and drop a few kilos, um, which at that point was good weight. Maybe it's not good weight anymore. Um, and, and get onto the kind of, as I say, lots of long, longer running kind of 200, 300 meter sprints, stuff like that. Didn't get to do any of that. Um, I was in a knee brace for the first uh, four months that I came back from the championship. Um, so now I'm really kind of picking up the, the slack for the off-season stuff that I missed to try and get into field shape last year. Um, but with that said, I have a, I have a great physio. Um, I'll give a plug, actually, since I've got the chance, but Physio for Life in Putney have uh, taken really good care of me and Toom and uh, a couple of others. Um, so I don't quite feel like I've missed out on 100% of that time, but I... I I'm probably a little bit behind where I would have liked to have been. Uh, and just moving on to the the, the fly proper, um, probably one of the hardest things to do at the fly is there's not many chances to meet up with your teammates and with the coaches prior to the actual competition days. Uh, but do you think having the likes of, you know, Ming Trin, Tom Bracegirdle, Jamie Powell, plus a couple of others that you've played with before, does that give you a bit of an advantage in that respect, do you think? Yeah, I hope so. Um... I think I, I'm personally really lucky that there's so many uh, players on that team that are either from Spencer or from uh, the world of box lacrosse. So, um, you know, right now I'm probably playing lacrosse with 50% of that team every week, even though even though we're not able to have a dedicated uh, kind of fly or, or forge team session. 
Um, you know, Ming and I are going to be playing for London Knights next week, so so that will be good. Uh, I see Will Walker, Brian uh, or Trip Davies, as he as he's known all the time. Uh, Tomb, I I can't get rid of the guy. So um, yeah, I I feel very lucky that we've got a pretty tight knit group um, already, and it's just going to be about bringing you know the, those other new faces um, in and and along. But I, I'm not worried about that at all. We've we've got a couple of of experienced coaches that I would say are both pretty strong on the culture side. So um, yeah, I think we're in a good spot team wise. And you mentioned the coaches. You, you've obviously got head coach Connor Dockery. Um, have you been having conversations with him and the rest of the team on on WhatsApp, or have you had any team calls or anything? What what's that process been like? Yeah, there's been um, there's been a fair amount of WhatsApp messages flying back and forth. We've had some really um, some really good kind of team calls and, and presentations. Connor is I, I've. I think I said to you the last time we spoke, I'm really interested in learning from these coaches. I'd, I'd like to go into coaching in the not too distant future. Connor brings something very, very different to uh, what I've had in the past. Definitely an element of fun. Um, video, video presentations that uh, that I w- wasn't particularly expecting. So, yeah, it it's been really good to to see the way that he's kind of bringing the team along and and leading that kind of virtual collaboration, if you like. On the first competition day at the Fly, you've got just the one game um, against Hustle. Um, what are your thoughts on that one um, at, at the moment? They've got some really good young international players, obviously a top coach in uh, Sam Patterson. Uh, what are your thoughts ahead of that game? I can't wait. Um, I can't wait to get there and and just, you know, see what this new venue is all about, see see how, how the different teammates kind of deal with, uh, what hopefully will be a big atmosphere and, and feel like a big moment. I think we're in the fortunate position where, you know, I hear it a lot from from other people in lacrosse, how good this hustle team looks and how they're maybe the favourite for the whole tournament. Um, that's perfect for us. That puts a lot of pressure on them to win that game. Um, you know, we we can turn up and, and do our thing and, and play together and, you know, what happens happens. So yeah, I, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I think we're actually in a slightly better position going into it. You mentioned the venue there. Uh, 2023 is the first time that we're welcoming spectators and fans to the fly. Uh, from your point of view, why do you think that people should come down and watch you and the other teams this year? I think it's going to be something fun and and different that people in in the local area maybe have never seen before. You know, lacrosse has a reasonable presence in in West London. I I run a junior team with uh, with Rob Arna over there, and and people kind of know what it is, but they've not seen and they don't have the opportunity to see the game played at the top level. Um, this is is going to be fast. There's going to be a stand there. There's going to be a bar there. There's going to be you know, big shots going in and, and hopefully things to get excited about. So, um, you know, speaking from experience of, of promoting the game in West London, I think there's an appetite for this and I think it's going to be a great event.